Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be t taking you through a crash course on the Fishbowl database, and specifically, we're going to be developing inside of C Sharp. So I have Visual Studio uh, already here loaded with me. You can use mostly any Visual Studio. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the package of, uh, features that are available in uh, Visual Studio 2015, like NuGet and things like that, just to make things a little faster. So assuming you've got your uh, console application already loaded, uh, throughout this, I'm making a video course on this kind of stuff, so my main function is just really, really basic. I'm just going to be running a set of class that happens to be running our exact code. Okay, so first thing we're going to do to get started is we're going go to go over to the Solution Explorer and we're going to get ourselves the NuGet package for Firebird. Right click on References, Manage NuGet Properties, uh, Extensions, uh, search for Firebird, and then select the Firebird. ADO.NET data provider. Give that an install. And if you were a little more advanced, you can go ahead and run the NuGet package uh, console and run the command yourself, but I'm not that advanced, so uh, this is what we do. So now we have the Firebird uh, SQL uh, Firebird client. Let's start using it. Um, one of the things you can do to get started is start uh, building the commands, uh, the connection string to instantiate the Firebird connection for the database. So to do that, you do fb uh, connection string builder. Okay, and the properties are uh, really straightforward. So, oops. We're gonna do database, and that's the path to where the database is. User ID gone. Password, oops, phishing, server type, default. Um, there is an, an embedded version of a Firebird, um, but since Fishbowl is not an embedded database, uh, we won't be using that, so don't worry about that if you see that in other references. And finally, data source and that's going to be the local host and additionally if you're running fishbowl or firebird on, on, on a different port number you'll want to specify that but for now just 3050 if you're using a firebird or having multiple installations of a database you may you need to make sure you're aware of um, database paths uh, firebird does have uh, a relative name paths so you could say you could call it, you know, my company, but that's not how uh, Fishbowl has configured its database server. It's all by path on disk. So let me get that real quick. And since I have many Fishbowl installations, I will just copy and paste this. I will use the uh, literal uh, prefix of an ampersand to get that going. And you can see here that's that the exact path. Now what we're going to do is use the connection stroop builder to string method to create our connection that we needed. So FB database. I'm oh, sorry, FB connection. New connection with CSV to string. Next call is db open. And now we are ready to use it. Um, I would, at this point, you can use uh, uh, fb command and pass it, you know, select name from company, pass it the connection. And you can use uh, data adapters, uh, data readers, all that kind of stuff. This is the full ADA.NET driver. So if you're familiar with SQL development, uh, SQL, Microsoft SQL Server, all those uh, methods are available. However, I don't do that. Um, I use something else because I'm a lot lazier. I use something called Dapper. So again, back to NuGet. We'll get this Dapper micro ORM. Okay, 
and you'll see how lazy I am. So, give myself a string, company name, db query using Dapper. It's a string. I know it happens to be a string. Select name from company, and this will happen to be a single using the methods I have available. All right. So instead of hello world, we're going to say hello company name. And if uh, I did this demo correctly, I should be able to hit run. And hello, bicycles unlimited. And that's it. That's five minutes. We're able to get connected to the Fishbowl database. It's not a big deal. Uh, from here, you can start doing more complex queries. Uh, from here, you can start uh, um, using a fully um, object-oriented way of accessing data. Instead of using a string here, you can actually provide a class with properties, you know, strings, uh, timestamps, integers, doubles, all that great stuff. So you can use that inside of your applications. That's it. Hope you uh, learned something. If you have any questions, please give us a shout. Thanks. Have a good day.